Good evening and welcome to Nashville, Tennessee, the site of the matchup between the Lady Eagles of Ezel Harding and the Lady Eagles, the Lady Cougars of Good Pasture. Yeah, Austin, this looks like it's going to be a great matchup between um, two really rivals uh, teams. Um, well, uh, we're excited to see what's going to happen. Should be an exciting game. Um, uh, let's do the star watch for the Lady Eagles. The Lady Eagles have two players that have really showed out this season. Mm -hmm. uh, Mary Beth White has eight goals this season, has really been leading the team on the offensive attack. What really sticks out is the 27 shots. I mean, she's not afraid. Yeah, you know, that's what you want to look for in a young player. She's not afraid to take shots. She's not timid in the spotlight. She's ready to go out there and score. And newcomer to the school, Valerie Revis. I mean, what a surprise we have here. Yeah, there wasn't really much known about her, but when she got out there, people were like, she can play. So she will, um, with Mary Beth and Valerie up top, they really um, can work some special stuff. And for the Lady Eagles of Good Pasture, they're Lady just a really Cougars. solid team. Yeah, they are a solid team. They're, um, they have a great history of being good at um, uh, women's soccer. And uh, we'll see how they do this year. Um, it should be a great matchup. The ball is set, and in about 30 seconds, we're ready for kickoff. I'm Austin G, along with uh, Jordan Baki, and we are very excited to bring you this game. Oh, and it is the Lady Eagles senior night. Let's not forget that. I mean, they've worked hard all four years to get to this moment. Yeah, it's it's a really good thing to come out and honor your seniors. You know, they're the leaders of the team, and uh, it's a good thing to come out and honor them. Uh, the Lady Eagles um, seniors are Bailey Anderson, who should be playing out on the um, in the midfield, and Christiana Gable, who will be playing... Uh, playing in the back on defense. And at 81 degrees with some wind, it should be a very pleasant night. Yes, I agree. I always love playing in nice weather. It always adds to the atmosphere. Oh, and this is a... a just in. Yeah, just in. From the sideline. Uh, first time Valerie is playing offense. She always used to play defense. So this is new. Uh, they're going to put her out there and see if they can get some offensive power out of there. See if um, Mary Beth and Valerie can click. I mean, you've seen it over the season. They've had glimpses of brilliance. Yeah, it's just can they put it all together and can they play a full 80 minutes? The ball is set. The ladies are ready. And here comes the kickoff. The whistle is blown. The Eagles passing it around. A oh, nice little flick on by Valerie. All down the sideline. The Eagles retain possession. Christiana Gable gets it out of there. Valerie dribbling up the field. She she has Mary, Mary Beth. Mary Beth to Megan Golden. Uh, she's taking it down the sideline. A little poor touch down the sideline, but she retains. And she crosses it in, but good pasture clears the ball. You know, that's really how the Eagles are going to have to attack today. If they want to be effective against good pasture, who's strong in the middle, they're going to have to wind them on the outsides and uh, use Megan's speed on the right side. Good pasture with the ball, and it's cleared out to midfield. Christiana Gable. Oh. Out of bounds to the Lady Eagles. Beatty with a stout defense. Number 14 for the, the Lady Cougars. Micah Holmes, um, I've heard she's had a great season. 
She is a great player. She really uh, leads their midfield. She um, She's the key to their performance. Mm -hmm. They're really built from the middle to attack. And uh, how she goes, the team usually goes. That's right, Jordan. Out of bounds to the Cougars. Valerie Rivas has the ball. And there she is, just showing showing what she can do. Very athletic player. She's not afraid of anything out there. Christiana Gable to throw the ball in. Oh, good switch by the Lady Cougars. But Shelby Lash comes out and um, Jordan she has been very good this season yes she has she um she is one of the best um, goalies in the league actually uh, with some of the most saves she plays for um, Brentwood Soccer League did you know that I did not Jordan that's a very interesting thing very uh, sloppy way to start the game but that's usually how most games start you gotta get loose you know yeah you know if the Eagles can settle down into the groove play their game, not, you know, force anything, they could really pull out a big win here. And I like what Valley's been doing up top in the uh, beginning of the game. She's really, really being active up there. Trying to control the ball, that's what you need. And good defense. And a goal kick for the Lady Eagles. With 36 minutes left in the half, there's still yet to be a shot. That's true. Um, you know, most games start out a little sluggish, but I think this one's going to pick up. On the back. Smart play. Smart by play by Lindy. Uh, isn't that right? Yeah. Lindy McAvoy. Um, actually, she has never played soccer before, before this year. Yeah, I know. She just came up as a freshman. She is a, yeah, she's a basketball star, so... Uh, the coach recruited her from the team. Mm -hmm. And that's a special point. Uh, Miss Casey is a new um, new coach this year. She's young, and she's really getting her team motivated. I think it's a very good thing that they're getting these people from other sports to come play. Mm -hmm. I mean, Lindy's an athlete. You know, I think it's taking her a little while to get into the game, maybe learn all the ins and outs of soccer. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, she's still an athlete. Good pass, you're controlling the ball on their field for most of this first start of the game. Oh, 14. And she rips one, Woo! but a good save by Shelby. Yep, she, I mean, she is their team. That Most girls can't take that shot from um, 20 out, but. That was impressive. That she, had some heat on it. She really got some power on that, but um, Shelby didn't, wouldn't have any of it. Great to, um, goalie play. Now let's see if the Lady Eagles can get something going here. Mm -hmm. Bailey Anderson with the ball. Um, gives it away. kicked in, but Shelby Lash will get a goal kick. Another one of the freshmen, part of the young lineup that um, forms the Lady Eagles team. I mean, they are going to have years of experience in a couple years mm -hmm. that they can uh, really improve and gel together. Mm -hmm. 14 with the ball. She really is the leader of this team. She has control of the ball when she has it. Up to Megan Gold. Let's see if she can keep this one in. And, and she this does. This is the way they have to attack. And, and, the, and the good passer kicks it out of bounds. So way they have to get those quick counter attacks, use her speed, and see if she can cross into the middle and see if they can't make anything happen. 
the throw in. Out of bounds again to the Eagles. The Eagles still trying to get something going off of a throw in. And yet another throw in. We've seen a series of throw ins. Jordan, what does that tell us? It tells us that um, good pastures forcing them to the outside. Um, they're playing good defense. Ladies just need to see if they can uh, get inside and see if they can get anything to In happen. baseball, we would call this a pitcher's duel. <laughs> you would say that. You would say that. A little, uh, little trouble here for the Eagles, but, but they find a way to slow it down in a handball on the Lady Cougars. They really need that handball. That was, that was kind of dicey, but um, you know, they uh, show composure in the back, and that's young. Um, we might, the Lady Eagles may not always do the right thing, but they find a way to get things done. They do. They they have loads of heart, you know. Bailey Anderson with the ball, He's weaving through traffic, tries to clear it, but the good pass through Lady Cougars are there. A series of headers. You can tell they're trying to get the ball back to Micah. I mean, Micah's kind of what they uh, run their th whole offense through. She's a great player. They're always looking for her. I mean, when you have somebody you can build your team around like that, it makes it a lot easier for the coach. Mm -hmm. I would say so. Defensive battle on the left side. Out of bounds. Nope, it's still oh. in. That's the awareness Valerie has. Never giving up. It's a great lesson. Don't ever give up. The Lady Cougars here with another throw in from midfield. And that is an illegal throw in. Back to the Lady Eagles. No, we were talking about the uh, um, how young the Lady Eagles were. They only have two seniors and two juniors, and the rest are sophomore, sophomores and freshmen. I mean, that's a great thing, knowing that you're not going to lose very many people, mm -hmm. and you're going to be able to maybe not have a rebuilding season, but maybe make a run for a, for a championship. You know, down the line. You don't want to say they're playing for the future, but they do have a bright future in front of them. Bright like the sun is today, Jordan. And cleared out by Christiana. I mean, she has been very good in the defense. Yeah. She's the anchor of the defense back there. Nothing gets past her. And I think she's really taught Lindy, I mean, as, she, as they've been playing. Because mm -hmm. she didn't know, so Christiana's taught her how to, how to handle the pressure back there. You love seeing that, you know, a uh, senior taking a freshman under their wing, showing them the ropes. I mean, that's what it's all about, awesome. Yes, it is. Either team trying to get something going right now. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much been played in the midfield for the most part. So this could be trouble. But it's kicked out for a corner for good passion. By uh, Paige, wasn't that? It was. Great play by the freshman. Mm -hmm. Is this the first corner we've seen in Adrian? Uh, no, it's a, it's the second one. Okay. Uh, if you're watching today, um, you see that on the uh, left side of the screen, we're having a little trouble, a little technical difficulties. Just we apologize for that. Oh, a great cross. Well, but that was really close right there. That was a close call for the Lady Eagles. It was a heart stopping kick. But somehow, they get it done and get it out. You know, that's what it's all about. At the end of the day, just matters what the score is. It's very, very true. 
a lot of fans here today. I mean, this is some great fan support. You know, you love seeing that in high school sports. You know, people coming out and supporting their friends, their family coming out. Yeah, that's what it's all about. Yeah, we're here for a good time. No worries on this beautiful day. Playing a little soccer. Oh, 14 with the ball. Oh, try to play a little cutesy ball in there, but a little bit too powerful on the kick. Shelby was having nothing of that. Oh, a big punt. Oh, and it gets through. Is this an opportunity? This is where they need it. Counter attack up the right She's side. She's a very good dribbler. Mary, Mary, Beth. Mary Beth. And they have to clear it out. See, I like seeing that from Mary Beth. 14 is obviously, obviously their best player, but she's not afraid to take it right at her. She may be smaller, but let me tell you what, her heart is just as big. Oh, ball played into Ezel's zone. Oh, oh big clear by the goalie. She came out of her box for that one. I really oh, like Shelby's awareness, you know, coming out A there. high kick called by the referee. You don't see that much in high school soccer. No, you don't. That's a, it's an unusual call, but, you know, it's in the book, so they can call it. We respect their call. Good clear by the freshman. She's having Maybe. a great game. You can really tell the experience of the season's paying off. Definitely. Good pass to defenders kicking around and finally clear it. Oh, oh a great run up by Lindy. Lindy. Um, that's where her uh, aggressive nature comes in. You know, she is always um, she's still getting used to soccer, but she has the athleticism. She's not afraid to go out there and. Uh, get the ball here we go with good pressure he's up clears it and here's Valerie with the ball trying to find somebody she finds Morgan but it is cleared and now they'll reset it up out bounce to the Lady Eagles Shout out to the ball boys down there, Ezo Harding soccer boys doing hard work down there. You know, you always like seeing the boys team supporting the girls team and the girls team supporting the boys team. You know, it's just a great thing to see. And we're having a substitution. First sub of the day. Second sub of the day, excuse me. <laughs> Cleared by Mary Beth. It's very smart boy. Just get it out of there. And again. Another chain of throw-ins. The ball in Ezel Harding's 18. But a clear out of bounds. That's just a smart play. Just get it out of there. Kick it to the out of bounds and live to find another day. I mean, sometimes it's hard for a new coach to really connect with their their team, but I don't think it's been very hard for Emily. No, I mean, she's been acting like a real veteran out there. She's been, uh, you know, having good practices from what I've seen, and the girls seem to really love her. Spending four years in college playing soccer probably helped that a lot. Yeah. At, yeah. at Faulkner University. Mm -hmm. Always like a player coach because they can always tell you, you know. They can relate to the players. Yeah, they can tell you uh, how to do special skills. The Eagles have control in their own side of the field. Valerie called for a handball. That's a hard call when you're trying to control it. I mean, it might have hit her hand, but I mean, we'll never know. 
you gotta respect the call, but I mean, that could go both ways. Big kick into the into the box by a good pass to defender. Let's see if he's already can clear. They, oh, they do. Great play by Lindy again in the back. She's having a stellar game. And and the hustle out there to try to to make it a throw in instead of a corner. You love to see that. You love to see that in a player. But here's the third corner for good pass. This is becoming a current. Mm -hmm. Especially after the last one was very dangerous. See if they can clear this one out a little bit better. And they do. Mm -hmm. Christiana with a great play, a senior leader. That is what you love to see. As I said before, the anchor of the defense. She's really proving that tonight. I mean, you can hear the players communicating down on the field. It's great to hear that. Mm -hmm. As a player uh, myself, um, sometimes I don't really communicate well with my team. Yeah, you know, as a fellow teammate of you, yours, you know, sometimes you have miscommunications, bad passes, but, you know, you can always work it out, and they seem to be doing that right now. And Bailey had a chance, but she lost the ball. She hustles to get it back, but can't do it, and out of bounds, back to the Eagles. Oh, that definitely looked, okay. I was about to say, that definitely looked like a foul, but the refs they taking care of that. And they give the free kick to Ezel Harding. See if they can make something happen here. Christiana setting up for the kid. Good pressure with the steal. But they give it back. A, good a looks series like of turnovers back to good pasture. 14 and has the ball. Yeah, Micah. I mean, she's really proved herself. The Eagles have done a good job of containing her today, though. She's a great player. They just have to contain her. I mean, you got to think that she'd be on the scouting report. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they knew about her before she came in. With 20 minutes gone by, I mean, we've had a bit, uh, had a very defensive battle today. Mm -hmm. There hasn't been much May opportunities. A couple from the outside, and um, the corner kicks proving a little dangerous, though, for the uh, Good Pasture Cougars. You've got, you've got to think that Ooh. Good Pasture has had the upper hand so far. Yeah, but it doesn't show on the score sheet. It's still 0-0. Zero, zero. The ball in the box. This is dangerous for Ezel Harding. Shot, but Ooh. over. It's good. <laughs> the, the ball went through the crossbars. Shelby with the goal kick. One of her better ones today. And goes out of bounds back to Ezo. Off of a good pressure defender. Morgan Bartels with the throw in. We were talking to her earlier today on the field, and she uh, told us that one of her favorite soccer players was Alex Morgan. She said it was kind of her role model that she uh, would like to play like her one day. And, you know, um, she hasn't gotten too involved in this game, but we'll see if she can uh, turn it on and yeah, you know, you know, really make a, make a mark on this game. Be a little... Alex Morgan herself. Soccer is a game of quality over quantity. And as you can tell, the benches show two different sides. Um, there are very many players on the good pasture side and um, fewer players on the easy hiring side but um, yeah you know um, you always like to have more bodies because you can do a little bit more in practice but you know at the end of the day if one team has more quality on the field it doesn't matter 
how many people they have on the bench, how, many, how big their school is. You know, it's all about um, what they can do on the field. Great clear. She is having a great game again. She is laying nothing past her. These defenses are really being strong today. Mm -hmm. Christiana again with the clearance. It's been a common theme of our game, Christiana with the clearance. We've heard that a couple times. We have. Good pass your goalie has not been tested today. You know, I would love the Lady Eagles to get, you know, a couple more shots on goals, but they're going to get opportunities. They just have to be patient and play the game, let the game take its course. Mm -hmm. Not try to force anything. Try to play the game. Is that a throw in or is that going to be a goal um, kick? I can't it's tell. very iffy. I think it's going to be a throw in. Okay. To the Lady Eagles. And we have some more subs today. Morgan coming out for um, Catherine Copis. Yes, Catherine Copis coming in. I think she's also a freshman. Is that right, Austin? Uh, I would believe so. Another part of this young team. I mean, there are blocks for the future, building blocks for the future. Definitely. You got a rookie coach, um, a lot of rookie players, and we'll see how they, uh, how they gel throughout the next couple of years. Throw in from good passer. And Christian with the clearance. Mary Beth with the ball. A sloppy touch leads to a turnover. Back to good passer's defense. And there's Valerie just trying to get in there again. She's not afraid of anything. Uh oh. Series of clearances leads to another clearance from good passer. Now if she keeps doing that, getting up there and messing with the defenders, who knows? She may uh, pick off a ball and score a goal. Christiana set to throw it in. Big throw in down the field. And another throw in coming. I think that's for the Lady Eagles. We'll see what it calls. Oh. oh. They send it to good pass. Good pass. I can't get a good look on it, but it's a tough angle up here. Mm -hmm. Good pass with the throw in. <clears throat> There's Micah with the ball. She hasn't been uh, gotten too many touches in the last five minutes. And I think it's just um, Ezel trying to limit her touches. Mm -hmm. She really is the key to their team, and if she's not getting touches, I don't see them scoring many goals. That's right. But, I mean, as you can tell, they've controlled the ball for most of the time, so Ezel is not getting any, any chances soon either. You know, they do control. They're going to control the, um, the game most of the time, but Ezel just has to pick their times, their chances, get a little counterattack, and see if they can uh, Counterattack. That's the, that's the main word that I heard in that sentence. It's what they need. And the ball rolls out back to Ezel. We see Miss Casey walking up the stairs, the, the mother of the new coach, Emily. Oh, yes. uh, it's great to see her supporting her daughter. Yeah, it's great. She actually teaches um, computer applications at Ezo Harding. A veteran teacher. Mm -hmm. Very good. She always gets high, high praise for her class. Good pass here with the throw in into Ezo Harding's box. Oh, that's dangerous. But, oh, they call it a corner. Another corner kick. Ezo has to watch these corner kicks. If they keep giving them chances, they're bound to put one away. They have got to try to clear the ball out for a throw in instead of a corner. The kick, a little long. 
Oh, but settled down, and it's dangerous ball. Ooh, it's still dangerous. dangerous. Trying to fight for it. A shot oh, block great by block. the defenders of Ezo Harden. Just making, yeah. And here we go. Here's the counterattack that we were talking about. We have a two-on-three break. Uh, but great job by the good passion defender to clear that one away. I mean, that's one of their opportunities. They have to take one of those and capitalize on it. Oh, good flick on. And kicked out of bounds by the Lady E. Cougars of Good Passion. A big throw in. Cleared by Good Passion. And here's Micah trying to find her touch. They really have done a great job of limiting her this um, half. With the exception of that long range shot, she really has not had many chances. Jordan, I think that's the plan for them. To get her touches, let her create. With 12 minutes left in the half, we have still yet to score a goal. I know, it's very surprising. Um, when I saw the matchup, I thought there would be a couple goals scored, but right now it's still not at zero. I think this sets up for a very exciting second half. Flicked on by Valerie. Cleared away by Goodpesha. Up. Oh. The goalie for good pasture, getting some action in this in this game. Yeah, she was really out there. She was not um, having any of that. She came out out there like a racehorse. Here we that go. Ball. Oh, great touch. Oh, but Micah with a great defensive play. And the young defensive Ezo getting the ball out again. You know, Austin. Oh, wait. What? He's L. Harding with a little offense here. This is good to see. They really need to run their offense through Mary Beth and Valerie. If they can get going, they could really uh, do some damage. I mean, time of possession, you would have to say, would be with the Lady Cougars. Yeah, but, you know, you can't have time of possession, but all that matters is the scoreboard. You know, Austin, I was looking at the uh, Lady Eagles schedule. They've had a little bit of a tough time lately. It, it, but it is a tough schedule. you got to give that to them. Mm -hmm. Teams like uh, Springfield and um, Wilson Central, that's a big school. Big schools uh, to face, you know, of a young team. It's hard to just put young players like that in that kind of position, but it really helps them later on. You know, that's how you build character. You may have some tough times right now, but you're always looking towards your future. They They're, did have a nice win over uh, Greenbrier, though, a 3-1 win. To add on to that, there may be pain in the night, but joy comes in the morning. <laughs> oh, that is an excellent quote, Mr. Austin G. Oh, oh we have a we have offensive little action. Attack. And the Ezo Harding Eagles will get a throw in deep into Good Pastures side of the field. There's a little question of a foul there on Mary Beth, but it doesn't seem like the ref was going to have any of that. I mean, the refs are really letting them play today. You know, just as long as the ref is consistent. They can let them play or they play or they can um, call it tight. Call it tight. But thank you. Um but if they keep consistent, I'm all right with that. Some just very good intensity in this game. I've seen very many girls on the ground fighting for balls. To all of our listeners out there, we thank you today for watching our broadcast. Yeah, it really means a lot. You know, as uh, new to the broadcast <laughs> broadcasting business, it's nice to have um, you know, people supporting you. Um, and it, if at all you see us, you let us know how we did. Christiana with a big header out. Valerie comes back to get the ball. But Micah settles. Oh, great move. Oh, this is and dangerous. And she puts it in. This is dangerous. But Shelby's there for the save. I mean, great play, great play. You know, that's what Shelby brings to the game. 
she's not afraid to get out there and, uh, you know, uh, come off of her line. Let me tell you what, she's a student of the game. Oh, that's no good. Mary Beth seems to be, seems to be down. Looks like she got nicked in the back. Let's hope she's okay as a big part of this Ezel Harding offense. That will really hurt their, um, their team if she can't play anymore. But she seems to be fine. She's shaking it off okay. But you got to know, if somehow she couldn't come back, that the team would rally around each other and really try to fight for this game. You know, if I had one word to describe this team, it would be character. They're not, you know, they may face adversity, but they never lay down. Oh, Cristiano with a big defensive play. But good pass retains. And a through ball, but it's a little too much. And Shelby with another save. You no, know, good pass here. They've had chances. They've just been missing that extra quality ball. You know, just a little off, a little bit too much like this. That one ball, that's what they need. Mm -hmm. Ezel better watch out. If they start stringing together some good passes, but here we go. it'll be dangerous. Ezel Harding with another clearance. Megan Golden about midfield. A great ball, but Bailey, Bailey Anderson was not ready for it. Good pass through passing around. Ball still rolling down the sideline. And still in. Cleared out by a freshman. You know, the two left backs, Paige and Lindy, have really been doing a great job. I don't know, Michael with the ball. Oh, uh, this could be trouble. She's a great dribbler. Dribbles around, looking for the cross. It's a cross, but nobody's home. That's the problem when you're a great player. You can, you know, make a great play, but you need someone on the other end to finish. And no one was there for good passer. They seem to have been lost somewhere, maybe in the brilliance of her play. You know, that's one of the things that happens when you play with a great player. Sometimes you watch them instead of playing the game. See that many times. And there seems to be some. Uh, maybe it's a throw in down there. Some miscommunication. It is a throw in, also. Very observant of you. Yes. The, oh, and here it comes. Little time left in this half. Maybe some team can get something going. Oh, and they're saying it's a good pass you're throwing. But he changes the call. Okay, I was about to say I don't know about that one, but ref is all over it. No need to worry. Morgan plays it back to Megan and Megan clears. Oh, Ooh. out of bounds. And the Cougars will get a throw in. The ball boy's there ready to give them the ball. There you go. It's always nice to keep the game moving. On the sideline, good ball, but nothing doing. The fans here are very excited for the game. You could call them crazy. Look at them. <laughs> yeah, you could say that, Austin. They just love showing support for their team, and that's what you like to see. Another play here for good passer, making some great connections, some good touches by the forward down there. Up to Micah. She's not oh. afraid to shoot from that and range. She takes a good touch, and here comes a left-footed shot. Ooh. What a left foot. But that was that was a great save shot. by the goalkeeper. Shelby. That was a good save by Shelby, but that was a great shot off the left foot by I mean, Micah. Anytime a right footer can pull off a shot like that with her left foot. Yeah, with their weaker foot. You you can really tell they've been practicing. Very impressive. A handball from the Lady Cougars. Oh, another high kick, actually. It was a high kick. Is what it was, Austin. We've seen two of those today. You know, not very usual, but we would say it would be unusual, and then it would happen twice. That's just our luck. Oh, <laughs> Jordan. It's good. And a free kick. Christiana has a big leg. She's ready to put this in the zone. See if she can put out there and make something happen. And she finds... Bailey, oh. but Bailey couldn't handle it. Bailey was streaking across the middle. Oh, it good like hustle. She had it. Good hustle by the midfield of Ezo. Uh-oh, good pass here with a chance and cleared by a young Ezo player. How many times are we going to hear that, Jordan? Lindy is just having a great game. So is Paige. They're really being stout back there against a um, very good, good pass your side. I mean, you just think. It's her first year. What if she had been playing her whole life? You know, it's... 
that's what athletes do. They're not afraid to, you know, pick up a new sport, see what they can do. It's very impressive how far she's come since the beginning of the season, though. Oh, ball rolling towards Ezel's 18. Let's see if Paige can get out of there. Good hustle. And she seems to got pushed, but no, no call. And they call a goal kick. Great shielding technique there. Mm -hmm. Was that Paige again? It was. You know, young freshman showing great technique. That's very impressive. Can only get better from here. I mean, that technique of, of shielding that she used, um, you know where she gets that from? Uh, probably her basketball days. She's a great basketball player out there. So, um, you know, it's kind of the same fundamentals that can switch from sport to sport. That's awesome how, how you can do those in both sports. Yeah, you know. Another corner for the Lady Cougars. Uh, this player, I can't see who it is. But she is number 10, has a great leg. Oh, and, and here we go, a dangerous play again. But somehow they find a way to clear it. They really need to stop giving number 10 opportunities. Um, if you, Her name is uh, Meg Morrow. Um, she's a junior for Good Pasture. She has a great corner kick. It's very dangerous when she gets in there. And, uh, I mean, you can tell she's been working on it her whole life. Mm -hmm. And another one. See if Ezel can find a way to clear this one. Oh, that was a great ball. Whew. But cleared out again for another corner. Very close. Valerie on the defense. Never afraid. Uh, you know she knows how to play that. This is her first season playing up top. It's his seventh corner kick. Ezel really needs to watch this. That stat really shows, shows out right now. And, oh, oh, great save. They connected on a corner finally, and a great save by Shelby Lash. That great corner pick by And let's see if, oh. if we can get a uh, counterattack. And good hustle by Mary Beth to oh. keep it in. No one's there, though. Oh, what a good settle. But good passer finds a way to get the ball. And she's dribbling down the sideline. Number eight showing some great some dri great dribbling technique. Another corner, Austin. You have to think, if they keep giving Meg chances, she's got to put one in there for someone to finish. Maybe uh, number 14, uh, Micah, might come in there again. The At Eagles, some point, they will find a way to put in the net if they keep giving up opportunities. The Eagles just need to hold out till halftime, regroup. Oh, Micah goes up for the header. Just a whisker one. They need to try regroup, get through with this half, and see if they can come back better for the second half. I think that's that was their plan, to get through the first half and get to the second half and have a chance at the game. Uh huh. Bailey Anderson with a kick down the sideline, but no connection there. Here we go. Morgan Bartels. Can't find anything. And there's the halftime whistle. Tied at half. Um, there's been lots of chances, but it's still 0-0. Zero, zero. And uh, at this halftime break, we're going to send it to our commercials. Yeah, to our paid sponsors.
thank you for joining us today for the Lady Eagles and the Lady Cougars of Good Pasture soccer game for senior night. This is Jason Charlton, teacher of the broadcast journalism class. I want to thank you for joining us. I also want to thank uh, senior soccer players uh, Jordan Bakke and Austin G for their commentary in the first half. They'll be back to join us here in just a moment. I want to uh, tell you a little bit about the broadcast journalism class. We've been working on a lot of different projects. One of the projects we've been working on are some commercials that our students have put together from our class. and We want to share one with you that was put together by some senior boys, Mr. Um, Chris Murian, Mr. August Wiles, Mr. Ryan Carter, and Mr. Andrew Joy. So hope you enjoy the work of these fine young men. At this time. This year we have a lot of goals that we have set for um, all three schools at Ezel Harding. Um, I think the, the first and primary goal is to um, revitalize a, a spirit and a culture of, um, of faith here. And uh, this place has always been known for being a place where um, God is praised and the Bible is taught. What I hope for this school year is that we... Bailey is the daughter of Karen and Craig Anderson. She's the sister of Ian Anderson. Her favorite high school memory is Honey Boo Boo Nights at Hammond's house. Her favorite soccer memory is the soccer practice in the rain, car ride to East Literature game, and Morgan Bartell getting sat under a tree. Her favorite Bible verse, Matthew 19, 26. The college she wants to attend is the University of Kentucky. Her future plans are to become a pediatric oncologist. And her advice to the underclassmen, don't play soccer like Morgan Bartell. <laughs> Our second senior is Christiana Gable otherwise known as Nana. Christiana is the daughter of Gary and Elkie Gable, the sister of Emily and Sarah Gable. Her favorite high school memory are softball trips to Chattanooga and bus rides. Her favorite soccer memories are Coach Hubbard's head dive in the rain and Morgan sitting under a tree. The college she is attending is Austin Peay State University in Clarksville, Tennessee. Her future plans are college and playing softball. Her advice to the underclassmen is don't get in fights and get put under a tree like Morgan Bartell. There is a thing here. Thank you for your years of dedication and hard work in Lady a Eagles Athletics. Thank you, thank you.
Ladies and gentlemen, we apologize for the technical difficulties. We have lost our video feed. We still have our audio feed, which is good because I'm just going to tell you, if you'll go back to TSSAA network.com backslash Ezel Harding no hyphen, in just a couple of minutes, we're going to set up a new event, and you'll click on the live event, and hopefully we'll have everything back up and running for you here in a couple minutes. We'll try and keep the audio available in case something good happens in the meantime. There are three minutes left to go here in the half. We'll set up another event. If you'll go back to TSSAA network.com backslash Ezel Harding, and hopefully in a couple minutes you'll have another live event. Thank you.